That's funny. Welcome, welcome back, folks, to another episode. Another episode of Jamin's Daily. We have a unique episode. It's going to be a re a review and a recap of Stranger Things season four, episode eight. I have a lovely panel here of guests who just finished watching uh, episode eight. And from my left to the right, we have Christian, McKaylee, Chabelli, and Landon. Why don't we start with Cameron? Why don't you let us know, Chabelli, um, <laughs> what your initial feelings, you don't have to elaborate and get into the plot lines or anything, but your initial feelings of the episode are... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think... I think that it was good. I enjoyed it, but I'm a little disappointed with the action of it all. It was a little slow. It was, it was a, little a little slow. A little slow. Okay. Why? And and it was I don't know. Slow? I guess I was expecting like more like Vecna stuff because like that's what like the whole last episode before this one was about, and there was just not a lot of any of that. I don't okay. know, without McKaylee? getting too much into it, sure, like, yeah, McKaylee, the details, huh? it just was a little sleepy. I fell asleep for, like, <laughs> five minutes. Yeah. So. And I, I can confirm she did fall asleep, <laughs> actually. Yeah, yeah, I feel after watching the last bit of Stranger Things, you know, up until this release, everyone was really hyping up this episode, and, like, or these next two, but... It felt like it was kind of a letdown, like, I overestimated it. Um, so I think I had like my hopes really high, but in reality, I'm sure this episode was only made in preparation for the finale of the season. So I'm, yes. I'm not sad yet. So <laughs> hopefully more exciting does, does the name, become. I know like when I was passing by, it said episode eight. No, every episode has like a name, yeah. right? which was the name? What was the well, name of this Papa, episode? Papa. 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 Which, and, that makes sense. Yeah. So if Christian, we want to, if we get into the plot. Yeah. yeah now, so Christian, yeah, you let us, that's how it ended. Lead us into that. Yeah. Now, Christian. Okay. So yeah, like we said, the episode was called Papa. So basically that is the biggest thing that happened in this episode. Yeah. He, Papa, which is, a. Uh, I guess the the mad scientist in this whole series. Mm -hmm. uh, he is also, I guess, in a way, Eleven. Uh, Eleven's uh, dad, I guess. So she calls the, him Papa. Yeah, she calls him Papa. Yeah. Oh. So okay. Obviously, like watching the series, you know who he is, uh, whatnot. So you probably already expected that this episode is going to revolve a lot, a lot around him, which it kind of did. But I guess what was unexpected. And probably the highlight of the episode is that Papa, at the end of the episode, you know, kind of died. Yeah, spoilers. So, if you're going to oh, listen to this, this spoiler, podcast episode, spoiler alert. there's a well, little it, bit of spoiler. It's going he, to be a recap. He doesn't say, yeah, like, so even he, he doesn't say, yeah. Ill 11, I'm your father. It wasn't like one of those, like, like <laughs> Jedi, like, <laughs> 11, I'm None your father. That. No? Okay. I guess, like, also, Landon, what I mean, about guess, Landon, like, Landon LT? somebody off. Oh yeah, LT, come on. Oh, you, yeah, you haven't said anything. We need the preteen, twelve-year-old perspective now. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, only episode one. <laughs> yes, only episode one. Don't no. say anything else. He has seen both episodes. Episode eight. Episode eight. Seen, episode eight and nine. I've seen it before. Only. It's my second time seeing it. Okay. But, Did you catch anything the second time around? No, I oh. paid really close detail to the first one. I wasn't on my phone all day. I wasn't distracted by anything. But I think it was better watching it again. But. Like they said, it was pretty slow. The act, there could have been more action, but it was still a really good episode. I liked it. Terrific, yeah. Terrific. I mean, it, ahead, it was an hour and a half long, and it wasn't until, like, the last 15, 10 minutes that I was, like, like there's really action. Interesting. You, were, you were like, what? You were, you were like, what? Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> for example, for example, guys, yeah. you, we've mentioned a number of times, every one of y'all, that this episode was you know, in preparation. Yes. So what were some of the things that were being prepped that the story, mm -hmm. like specific, mm -hmm. can you, if for an example, like say something that happened during this episode that you're, you're saying is prepping for, uh, the, the, the finale mm -hmm. for, give, give us, give the audience at home a, an example. So basically, um, 
basically they're all there's a group full of basically all of the teenagers, the main characters, plotting or I guess planning to kill Vecna. Who's Vecna? Vecna is like the main villain. Villain, yeah, the main villain yes. in the whole season. Okay. So their plan He's they're all just planning getting the tools, getting the weapons to go and kill him. Yeah. So this yeah. whole episode is also like the staging process to go uh, to battle. Unless I was a, yes, but unless I was asleep for this part, they also didn't really do much of Joyce and what's his face. Did they did they? not. Yeah, like they only showed just a little bit of that. Oh, and I mean, yeah. Like, anyway, they also they also mentioned them a little bit. What are they? What were they planning? They're on they're, their way back. They're trying from to get Russia. back to the U.S. I mean, escape Russia. Yeah. Yeah. So just a, a quick recap. Yes, Christian. Yeah. Of the whole yeah. Tie, 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 yeah. It, tie it, tie it, tie it together, Christian. A quick tie recap together. of the whole season. Um, basically, at the end of season three, everyone went their separate ways. You know, they defeated the Mind Flayer, and uh, you know that was the big bad guy, uh, kind of being built up since season one. Um, they all went their separate ways. Joyce went with Will and Eleven. Um, they went to California. And what's the name of the older brother? Jonathan. Huh? Jonathan. Jonathan. Yeah. Jonathan, Joyce, Will, and Eleven. They all went to California, so they're they're in that side of the country. And then the rest of the, the geek squad, uh, they stayed in Hawkins, so they're on this side of the country. And then we have Hopper. We have Hopper in Hopper Russia is, for some Hopper reason. Hopper is 11's adopted dad like so papa's like the, the guy who like gave her her superpowers oh, or whatever Hopper's the sheriff yes, yes. and he ex -sheriff. Ex -sheriff. he's the one didn't he, he have a child who got, who got yes. Was yes. Missing yes. That? yes how does that tie does that tie into it at no. all i mean again? that's why he's more emotionally invested and got attached to 11 yes okay so bring it back there's a whole bunch of different um well i guess all the people are in different places they're they're in all these different places right in the country so I guess in my in my opinion, the biggest buildup that we have going on here is that this is kind of I guess the first episode where we can I mean it's not the first episode we know it was gonna happen, but this is like we know that this next episode is gonna be episode nine. They're all gonna be together now. Mm -hmm. So now there's a clear I guess the, the layout is clear now. Like we know Eleven is saved by Mike and the other people. And they're on route to Hawkins. The rest of the little group of kids are in Hawkins. Mm -hmm. And then now, Joyce, who went to go save Hopper, they're planning their return to the United States, where they will most likely go to Hawkins. So, oh, you know what's going to happen? They're, they're going to show up at the very end of the next episode when they are needed the most, save the day. Kind of like... Um, Gandalf in Lord of the Rings, remember, like he'd always show up at the end with some kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, like just to push him over the edge, yes. to 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 victory, right? I mean, that's just I have no idea what's going on in this whole show that y'all been talking about, but it sounds interesting. Yeah. I think and Max is going to die. Max, you think so? I okay, think so she's. Oh going yes, to die. because she did volunteer to take her. So like, whenever this like Beckner guy, he's like the bad guy, like demon weird thing who's it who's what's the comes, difference well i'm sorry what was the difference between well, you said after season three they defeated the what was it called the flat the mind flare the mind, mind flare. flare who the mind flare and this vecna are different things so that was kind of like the ending of episode seven this whole time it's been number one because there's 11 there's mm -hmm. like one through i think there was is there 12 i don't know but anyways there's all these numbers of kids but the mind 11 fights with number one uh, way back like they show like a flashback flashback and she like throws him to the wall with like her superpowers and then he like turns into like ash, no. ash and like brown like vine i mean black it looks like, like an alien things. like an alien okay and he is like a gate like he's he becomes the upside down like where these people like which is there that that other the, 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 the other world, world. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. and so okay. it, like episode I mean season one two and three the the like 
bad people or like the mind flayer or now Vecna like they're always after 11 they've always been after 11 and it makes sense now why they're always after 11 because it's number one and he's after 11 right yeah sure that's it's all, it's the, and all these uh, these uh, Vecna and mind flayer they're all number one in a yes, way they're like in these a way. Manif- manif- what manifestations of one's mm-hmm. evil so or something I think being sent out? I think I think okay so what Trevelli said, they one fought eleven, um, eleven to I guess get rid of him. Open this gate, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Can we agree on that? Okay, he opened this gate, and in my opinion, and I think they said this in the show, the 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 upside down is already there. It's already been there, but eleven just opened the gate to the upside down. I see. And the upside down as we know it now is kind of like. If you go there, you're probably going to die. But why didn't one die? And I think it's because he is already pure evilness and the upside down is evil. So instead of uh, instead of him, you know, being consumed and dying by this upside down, they kind of like embraced him and took uh, him as like their leader. So like all these creatures from down there. And then at some point... In it, this you know, it could be, episode, it's almost like a, bi- a biblical... A parallel he could be like satan in hell you know so exactly. he's like the ruler of this place he's like a fallen angel or something and then he that's that, basic, you know yeah. okay basically go ahead. What it that's is. Basically kind of so like one of the kids said in this past season is that vecna now is again like their yeah. king right mm-hmm. so vecna's the controller here the king and the mind flayer was like his right hand man so that's why he was like the big build-up because he was like the big baddest guy right now. But now we know that Vecna's stronger. And Vecna probably controlled him or sent him, I guess, to get the the kids. But, you know, once once the kids defeated the mind player, he was like, oh. I got to do it myself. You need to do it myself. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any Anything else to add? Uh, what do you think, McKaylee, do you think is going to happen now having seen episode Eight? Yes. What do you think? Well, episode nine, what do you think is going to happen? Originally, I had thought that Dustin was going to die, but I don't know anymore. But as I said, I do now think Max will die because I think she's going to have her second shot with Vecna as, you know, bait while the other kids try to kill Vecna when he's in his trance state trying to, like, kill Max. And I don't think the kids are going to get to her in time with her Kate Bush headphones. Mm-hmm. And I think she's going to die. Is Kate Bush the person who sings that song? Running up the... Yeah, Max can know. run up the hill forever, guys. <laughs> so yes, I, I think that's what will happen. You know, Jamin, that was but, on... Like, mm-hmm. It's like popular on the radio now because of Stranger, Stranger Things. things. It's probably during your time, right? It's like, <laughs> What's the song? Running Up That Hill by Kate Bush. Running Up That Hill by yes, Kate I'm Bush. Yes, I'm sure you've heard I of it. I probably heard. When did it come out? Like in the 90s or something? Yeah, like the 80s. Old, yeah. Oh, in the 80s? Yeah. Yes. Jeez, I'm not that. I was born mm-hmm. in 83, but I I listened to a lot of 80s music because I was the the, the baby. So I had an older brother and older sister. So I always was listening to yes. their stuff. Okay, you know? I think an interesting question yes. is before before we even watch this episode, you know, you watch, you watch like, you know, Facebook is there. And, um... No, I mean, on Facebook, I saw mm-hmm. that the creators confirmed that there was going to be five deaths this season. Okay. So, how many people have died so far? One. Well, I'm guessing the important one is uh, Papa, right? right? One important one. Yes. So only one I person guess. has died so uh, far. I guess yeah. it is important to the the plot. The plot, yeah, right. Yeah, I guess. So yeah. I think. A fun question to, you know, ponder and discuss right now <laughs> is uh, who do y'all think else is going to die? Well, I know McKinley said Dustin, or she thinks maybe Or Dustin. Max? Did you say and Dustin Max. and Max? Well, you said there was going to be five, and so far there's only been one. one. So who else do we think is going to die? There's only been one, but there's going to be five. Well, so there's going to be four people dying in the last? Yeah, I, can say <laughs> yeah. I think one, one of, okay, there's a love triangle in this whole shindig, and it's Jonathan... Steve and Nancy. One of them is going to die. <laughs> and I think it's going to be one of the guys. But I feel like Jonathan has become irrelevant. Yeah. And I don't know if anyone would be sad if he died. So I don't think they'll uh, kill him off for that yeah. reason. 
because yeah. he didn't have a big, big impact. I mean, he was really overshadowed by his best friend who became the comedic relief. He's the pizza driver guy who, like, with the, has the long hair. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if he'll die, but I possibly might think Steve will. I think, now that you say that, and I think this is going to be kind of funny. If this happened, not funny. It's got to be three. Be it's got to be three or four people dying. Then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, but yeah. sticking with the last triangle, I think it would be kind of crazy if, for some reason, Nancy is in you know harm's way, and Jonathan, as the as the non important character right now, runs up to save her because they were a thing. They were dating, or I, I guess mean, they, still they still are. They still are. Yeah. They. Have- they haven't talked to each other yeah. forever, yeah, and they made while. that a point. I think yes. it would be interesting if he is that the runs guy. Is that the guy there. who was dating the other girl in the season one? The yeah. Fr- no, no, no. So that's that's Steve. that's Steve. Well, that's Steve. Steve. He's part of the. Yeah, Steve you know was Will's the brother. Steve was the guy who was a horrible boyfriend to Nancy in season one. Yes. And then he Nancy, was like the cool guy. Yes, and yep. and Nancy and Jonathan. Started dating. He was the and one then, with the camera, wasn't? Yes, Jonathan's the guy yeah. with the camera. The camera. Jonathan, the Jonathan. Jonathan. Yes. Yeah. Okay. A weird. I'm, I'm, I only saw episode the 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 original season, which I enjoyed. So I I kind of remember some of the things you were talking about, yeah. uh-huh. but I think this was an amazing discussion so far. Are we are we headed back? Are y'all gonna watch the second part right now? Yeah, I mean, we're let's not do doing it. anything else for uh, yeah, another two hours. It's, it's the only couch. it's only seven o'clock. Guys. Yeah. Steve's gonna die. I think Steve's yeah. gonna die. We got it. Okay. Uh, let's do it, and then we'll we'll add. We'll come back. Well, we're gonna come back. We're, we're gonna, gonna, gonna come be back. sad. I don't know. When I came home from Corpus, like yesterday, two days ago, yes, Landon had just finished watching. Like he came out of his room, and like mm. he was like crying. Why I was like, you crying, are buddy? You? I was like, are you crying? And then he's like, oh no, or I don't know. And I was like. Yeah, okay, he said, yeah, a little bit. And there then I go. said, Own oh, it. are you watching Stranger Things? And he's like, yeah, I just finished. And I was like, why are you crying? <laughs> no, don't, don't, don't. It makes don't, me don't. think it's important so, character. It's important. That okay. No, not and, and with that, folks, we will be back with... Uh, part two. Part two. Volume epi- two, to volume keep it in the two, theme. Episode <laughs> nine, when we come back. Everyone got their waters ready? Yeah. You got a water? Well, you're not ready without water. Well, welcome back, folks, to another episode of Jamin's Daily. Actually, I, I stand corrected. It's not another episode. It is the continuation of the previous episode of Stranger Things Season 4. We just wrapped up episode number 9. Previously, we talked about episode number... Eight. I know how to count. So eight and nine. So what was the name of this episode, number nine? I will leave that to McKaylee. Piggyback. There we go. P- piggyback. The piggyback. P- the. Uh, the piggyback. So not yeah. just piggyback, but the yeah. piggyback. And so we'll, I, I'm sure, does the sh- something, does that have to do with something within the episode, the piggyback? Yeah. Yes. But before we get to that, let's start off in... One word. Describe the finale in one word, Landon. One word. I'm first. Excuse me? One can word. I, can I ask someone else first? No, you, you've been called upon <laughs> okay. to say a word. One word. Cliffhanger. Cliff, <laughs> cliffhanger. Christian. Insanity. Insanity. Cliffhanger, insanity. Chabelli. Mm. Mine's words probably lame. Lame? Oh, no, 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 no. no. What? My, no. What? You heard I it here, folks. Lame, but I feel like my word that I'm gonna say is, is lame. lame. I'm gonna say like cool, oh, okay. but like no, what? it's not a word. What is my it? My word is like. Is your word like, like a feeling? Exci- it, it was like exciting. Yeah, that's exciting. Pretty, that's pretty lame. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding. Michaela, you go. Anxiety. <laughs> anxiety. So we have. That's probably what I meant. It so we have like, exciting, yeah. exciting anxiety. Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. And Christian said. Insanity. Insanity. So all these are, stri- you know, there was no like resolution or finality or like 
happy ending. You know, these words are not um, the ones coming out. No. So that makes me believe. Perhaps does that mean there's going to be a season five? Yes. Yes, yes already confirmed. It's been confirmed. There's season five, and, does and this it will be the final season for sure. And so does the the finale of this show. I guess somebody, uh, Landon, you said cliffhanger, so that it obviously leaves room for the next, the next episode. Yes. Like Infinity War, in an Endgame is basically what I think season five is going to be. Going to be its Endgame. This is the Infinity War. Left us on a cliffhanger. Didn't okay. kill the big bad villain. Mm-hmm. So hopefully next season, they'll kill. They kill it. So who? Let's talk about yeah. the deaths because yes. in pre, you know we in episode eight, uh, Papa the Papa episode. Papa, we yeah. we talked about that earlier. Now in episode nine, we, we, we talked about earlier that we were anticipating deaths. Mm-hmm. So now, big reveal: who died? Spoiler alert: who mm-hmm. died? Well, no. on on Facebook, on Facebook to the person who said that there was going to be five confirmed deaths. Mm-hmm. Your sources are trash. That is not <laughs> true. Fake news. That is fake, fake news. That was CNN fake news or what? CNN. Um, way more than that. Yeah. Like, not important. Not important was, people, but like in the town, like in this place. In the the kill, happen. the kill count is high, but the important kill count is low. Oh, you know so, what I'm saying? So they, so they, yeah. they, I thought they killed a bunch of henchmen and like randoms, like one impor- like normies, like just random said, people. Just well, I counted yeah. four people. I counted Papa. I counted Billy, the football player. You can technically count Max because she did die. No, I didn't think Billy really was Eddie. part of the five. I thought it She's was. A, well, I Billy. I understood it as like the main characters, yeah. like, mm. like the quarterback. some of the leading important characters, yeah. and Billy yeah. and Papa were both. Yeah. Some of them, so I guess that's like four confirmed. And I don't know if anyone else does. I, I, I think Max is a point five, you know, because she kind of did, she kind of not. What, well, one, when, one what made in, you, one what made you <laughs> this is a point five I'm, death. Okay. Yeah, I was waiting. When, when, when Hopper came back, no, whenever oh. Eddie died, that was sad. Oh, oh yeah. that was sad. It was sad, mm. but I didn't really like get very close to his like character, so mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's sad, but like, I wait. Didn't, the Demi Gorgon is a confirmed death. There are plenty of those that died. No, but we only care about the one. Well, I heard a lot of <laughs> action sequences, even though I didn't see anything. I heard a lot of commotion going on. So, can somebody describe to me the the commotion? The commotion, <laughs> yeah, or like oh, the ecstasy. So what, back was hurting. So, so, what, hurting. <laughs> so, so what was going on? Like, were they like? Having to like hand to hand combat, or was like sorcery going on? Like, how, how did they do? Well, how did this end? Who won? Like, how did he did eleven like have to throw down? They and, and, all, and fight. I heard somebody say, "You have to did. fight. You have to fight. Yeah. You have to fight." So I did she? Did she end that. up fighting? Yes, and you know she's the reason Max is still alive because mm-hmm. you weren't able to see, but Max was like on the verge of death and did die but she like broke both her arms and one of her legs because that's what happens when you're under Vecna's trance mm-hmm. but like before he, she could like completely like you know <laughs> cut the cord Eleven was the one who was like in her mind and piggybacking into yes we can so talk is that about why yes. I know why yes. yes. Go, who yeah. wants to who wants to explain like, the piggy whoever. the piggyback so Midway through like episode nine, they stopped at a gas station and Eleven saw a sign of a girl getting a piggyback ride from her mom. That's why she was looking at the sign. Oh, I didn't know that. And then she got the idea to piggyback into Max's mind to help her, I guess, kind of kill Vecna. That's yeah, but like the car window was like dirty with like dirt or dust, so she draws a picture. I just love the picture part, but, cool. but like that's how she explained it to her friends. She's like, "This is Max," and then she drew a little bubble for in Max's head is Vecna, and then she drew herself next to Vecna, and then she said, "Piggyback," and that was cool. I like that part. Yes. Yeah. Good find. 
I know. Yeah, I, I didn't notice, notice that. Either. I knew she was staring off like at the sign, at the but side. I didn't realize that. Did I was, was like, on. the Grand Canyon? Are you going to the Grand Canyon? Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Landon, did you did you find did you catch that the first time or the second time you saw it? The second time I saw it. The second time. Because like I had like seen it before like i saw the sun and she was looking at it the first time but i didn't think anything of it yeah but I, this time the second time you caught it yeah that's how good the episode was you had to watch it twice <laughs> you, you know there's a lot of shows like that when there's there's so much happening that you have to watch it a second time to catch some you know of the things i'm a little over. upset about about what the Tell guy's us. death because there was absolutely no reason for him to start running he could have. To, what would to prove what that he didn't run away? That's so stupid. Cause now you're dead. Cause you didn't run away. Like just run away, dude. Like he could have gone with Dustin back home. But no, he wants to be the superhero of the movie and prove some kind of point to himself. And look where it got him dead. Sometimes what, you just like, have to be yeah, but did, Eddie? He, but did he save somebody? Eddie, did he yes. go down a hero? He bought time is what happened. But in the end, it didn't matter yes. because they all died when Eleven beat Vecna, but they didn't know what was going on because they weren't there for it. They were all in different places. So, so what he, they thought... So they sacri he sacrificed himself not knowing that he didn't even need to yes. do it. Yeah. That's the ultimate sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. It was just a little. Just say it. The guy is stupid. Yeah, it was a little disappointing because so, like he didn't really need to be that. I mean, so where I guess do you, he didn't know where do you stupid, think, guy, fellas, fellas? Uh, I mean, uh, people, persons on the planet. Um, Aggies. Aggies. Yes. Future yes. Aggie. Aggies. Where? This is, this is your commitment video. Okay? So, <laughs> cri cri Christian, where? Where do you think season five starts off? And what would be the, 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 the name of the first episode? The beginning of the end. Ooh. That's a long you know, one, it, but a good one. Where does it start, though? Like, so how, how, where do you think it picks up? Where, 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 where is the story you pick well, up? Well, the very last thing we saw in this episode was... was uh, it was snowing in Hawkins, you know, Snow. snowing, Snow, yeah. snowing. It was ash. It was uh -huh. totally snowing. ash. Or something. Spor spores. So it wasn't snow. You <laughs> put snow. snow in quotations. It was, it was a, like evilness. It was the particles snow. they were talking yeah. about, right? Mm -hmm. So we saw we saw that and and they took that as a sign. They're like, okay, you know, something's about to go down. So they go to this open field where like all of them are there, you know, kind of like some end game type of stuff. And then we like, you know, pam it around to like see the whole open field. And then you see like some big explosions, like the mind flare starting to form. I would say it is kind of like the mind flare. So yeah, I'm thinking that then uh, Will touches his neck and wasn't that the mind flare when Will touches I think his so. neck? Just all of the upside down. Yeah. In general. Yeah. So oh, basically yeah. that's kinda of where it's gonna start. I feel like it's uh, Gonna start back in the upside down world, perhaps, or the whole. Well, basically, world. the upside down is the real world now. Yeah, he like came and took it over, or whatever. Yeah. That guy. So, what about just normal people in the world? Do they know what's going they're on? They're leaving. They think a it's an earthquake. Of, yeah, a mm -hmm. lot of cars, like a bad earthquake. Yeah, so left town. The town. Oh. Yeah. Packed up and left. Did yeah. they like? Did they blame it on climate change? Maybe. <laughs> there was no explanation. They called it an earthquake. Oh. Okay. Is what they. Sad. It's the seventies. There is no climate change back then. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this. Is a period. It's, a, it's change. probably the commies. It's it was Russia. It was a, it's probably the commies. I think because I don't know if this is true, but I saw a thing on like social media that said that so that Stranger Things is gonna have a huge time jump. Mm. I don't know if that's true. I can see probably it. Probably just fake news, but like if it said it's coming out two years later, they're gonna be super old. Like yeah. 20s already. 23. Oh, yeah. So, and also... Wait, wait, wait. You're saying season five isn't coming out for another almost two years? That's what my yeah. dad said. But I, 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 I haven't um, read it online anywhere. That, but, maybe it's like but, one year. But that must mean they're shooting some epic episodes, and it's going to be like 10 episodes long, and they're really going to try to go out with a bang to make all this money. Maybe that's what's going long. on. Two hours long each? But don't they normally do... But I, I guess because this is a streaming thing... But it would be f cool if they 
season five and then they end with a theatrical like a movie in the mm. theaters it's how they a lot of these things used to end where you know they try to you know that'd be kind of cool ma- ma- max out the profitability of making money you know you do season five and then the last part of it is a movie that would be really cool i can see it. you would go would y'all go i would go heck yeah uh, that's what i'm, I'm saying <laughs> sorry <laughs> no of course y'all would go everybody would go it would make a crap load of money so you heard it first here on Jamin's Daily, Stranger Things, the movie. The movie. That's all you have to put, the Stranger Things, the movie. And yeah. ties it all together. Yeah. And we, y'all all go see. Yeah. It's unrelated, but uh, also thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not unrelated. It's related, but like not to anything. I just think that Will is a really bad actor. I don't know. Like... Is this a hot take? Hot take. A hot take? <laughs> the past, no, this the is a past hot take? two times he's had crying parts, it's disturbing. I don't want to look at him cry. He looks not terrible good, That's how crying. good an actor he is. No, he's not like, a good cry? when Dustin was crying because Eddie died, like, Which one he is, who's looked Will? like he was crying. Will is the awkward one, like, kind of a bowl cut. Um, is he the one who's got the weird teeth? No, no, that's, that's Dustin. Dustin. Okay. Will is like, he's like the main like character in like the first, first season. Yeah. The, the thing gets him and they can't find him. The mom's doing the lights. That's Will? That's yeah. Will. So Will is from the first season, the one who originally he disappears. gets. disappears. Okay, that's mm-hmm. who I know. His mom is Winona, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Got it. Got it. I don't know. I'm not saying so he doesn't actor, cry well. But I watch it. He should have, like, 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 right before the scene, right before the scene started, he should have, like, Boom! Jam himself in the nose, <laughs> and be, you know your eyes get watery, yeah. and then he could have acted. I mean, I like him, but I mean acting all the other times. It's just when he starts crying, I think he's a bad fake crier. Rewatch the crying scenes and look at his face. I don't want Wait, to. You heard it. You so bad. Yeah. Cameron, I don't know. Ca- Cameron has yeah. a high standard when it comes to crying scenes <laughs> in the movies. I, I think I really and know. then I, I think I think I heard McKinley say that Millie Bobby Brown was trash. I never said that. No. I, I no. obviously, no, obviously, obviously, obviously <laughs> I couldn't fake cry if I had to. So I'm not well, trying to who, be rude. Who would to you say? Who fake cry? Yeah, I don't know. But nobody I'm likes like fake crying. You got that's why if you can really cry and make like it look like crying, crying. Well, they have to fake cry if they're. Well, it, you know what? If they're really into it, like you said, maybe they don't even have to fake it. They're so into it yeah. that they just cry. Like Dustin probably was thinking about something really sad, and he was really crying. Like, that's what good. I want everybody to do. He's a good cry. Mm-hmm. Will? Like, well, Will, his whole character this whole season has always been, like, weird. I, and I think it's, like, to everyone. <laughs> but, like, at first, so you know, is he gay? Like, why is he acting so strange compared to all the other seasons? And, like, maybe he's just growing up awkward in a new place, uh-huh. okay? But, like, I feel like we didn't get enough insight as to that because, I mean, the only thing we got from that was his and his brother's conversation while they were mixing the salt water yeah. for yeah. Millie Bobby Brown and that was all we got you know why was he being so weird this entire season but like you could see it and I think that drove to the crying scenes a lot because he cried uh, I feel like a ton you know I don't know maybe it's just yeah, me but like because he's emotional is he supposed yeah. to be emotional like all of a sudden yeah but I don't know I was going to say something else that was um, a hot take mm-hmm. hot take <laughs> and it was Oh, Jonathan. He always looks like he doesn't get enough sleep. Like, always. Like, that's, that's just He's stoned like, all yeah, the time. Like, even in the first season. Now I'm just... Mm, this has nothing to do with the show or the acting, but I'm just talking about them as people. But, like, <laughs> Jonathan. He always looks tired. Like, he never gets enough sleep. But he's got bags that are, like, <laughs> terrible. But then, I guess they, they add good. some makeup. It goes <laughs> for his, oh, he's a stoner guy. But, like, in the other seasons, he wasn't really... Stoner, so he just looks like he's so he became a stoner later on in the episode. Yes, he did, or at the start of this. this See, you know, but I forget this after the I saw the first season, and I forget that as the seasons go on, this is also a show about uh, a um, a coming of age in some ways within this sci fi horror background. It's on, it's a coming of age with these kids because they're getting older, so Mm -hmm. I can, I uh. That's kind of a cool dynamic about the show. Mm-hmm. And what you're saying is that, yeah, by the time... Jude! 
Stop. You're looking and laughing over there. Stop. Jane, Landon, make them stop, please. Can we have a blooper reel? Bloopers? Oh my god. Well, Jonathan, if you're watching this, you got a hater over here. I have a hater. Uh oh. Oh, I, uh, we should. You know what? When when I when I um when I post this, I could do an at. What's this actor's name? We can hashtag no, him. I, yeah, she's going. We can hashtag, uh, we can hashtag are you him. Scared? Maybe he'll no, watch it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah, please. Do you not get enough sleep? Do you need some melatonin? That's what it is. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't. He probably has some kind of like a disorder. Now you just for real. Yeah, now that whole community is oh, gonna go now he's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get canceled because he's got stoner all right. eyes. All right, all right. Stop. All right. Yeah, yeah, well, Dustin has no collarbones. <laughs> the actor. Really? He doesn't have a collarbone. Wait, who? who? He has like this disease, and he has no collarbones. Who oh, does? Wow. What are you talking about? And that's why he lost all his front teeth too. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like some type of like bone thing. I don't know. I know, I know his teeth thing was real, like about his teeth, but I didn't know he was missing. But don't you need collarbones in some way? <laughs> like, can oh, you, how can you okay. just not have them? Well, I don't know. Like, Gotta Google it. Google. Uh, and folks at home, if you know anything about this, you can send us an email at jamesdaily at <laughs> gmail. Dot com like and share everybody here on this panel i want to just give you a round everybody give you yourselves a, a round of applause great job this was a lot of fun yeah if you want to watch more videos things. go down here stranger things <laughs> follow yes. my tiktok <laughs> yes subscribe right here and subscribe <laughs> like and share at barbie girl talk barbie girl <laughs> talk hey we need to do a, we need to do another podcast like do Zoom or something like that. Yeah. And okay. I don't know. We can do some. I can talk about Barbie if I have to. I oh heck yeah. Is. We can figure something I, out. I talk about it right three. now. Yeah. We, we can do. We could do other movie reviews or something like this. So this panel, we're gonna continue it. Me Folks at home, movie. thanks for uh, tuning in. Till the next Bye. time. Stick with us because the best is yet to come. Bye. Toodaloo. <laughs>